injuries by black women. Last fall, a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute suggested those who use a relaxer four or more times a year were more than twice as likely to develop uterine cancer. Rhonda Terrell got the news on Christmas Eve that she would need chemo. A relaxer manufacturers didn't care that this 55-year-old black woman in Alabama may never get to see her grandchildren graduate from high school. Now, attorney Benjamin Crump is now co-leading the litigation. He says generations of women have been marketed and coerced to believe that using chemicals to straighten their hair equates to beauty, adding these chemicals are responsible for the tragic number of users' reproductive cancer. Previous studies found similar products were associated with a higher risk of breast and ovarian cancers. But this impacts a lot of women, especially those of color, because for decades, getting your hair straightened was kind of like a rite of passage for some people. So more research will also have to be done to see if this impacts uh, people who used to get hair relaxers but no longer do so. Sarah? Yeah, sorting that out. Uh, Christy, thank you.